Hi friends. Today I am starting with a series of three videos. The first video will be on prime factorization. Second will be on HCF, and the third one will be on LCM. And these three videos are specifically for students of grade four and five. And the first video is on prime factorization. Yeah. Before we start with the prime factorization, let's try to understand the meaning of prime numbers. And prime number is a natural number which is greater than one and which is only divisible by one and the number itself. Now this only word is very important here means it won't have any other factor other than one and the number itself. Now example, the example of prime numbers, the first prime number is two because two is divisible by one and two only. Moreover, two is the only even prime number. Even prime. The next prime number is three because three is divisible by one and three only. It has no other factor. Next prime number is five. Five is divisible by one and five only. No other factor. Next one is seven. Again a prime number. It is not prime. It is divisible by two also. Nine is not a prime number. It is divisible by one, three, and nine. Next prime is eleven, and so on. And students, there are infinite prime numbers. You cannot count prime numbers on your fingers. They are infinite. Now next is yeah factors. What is meant by factor of a number? Two or more numbers which multiply to produce a given number. Those numbers are known as factors of a given number. Let's take an example here. Now let's consider we have a number three, and if I multiply three with six, I will get eighteen. It means three and six are factors of 18 and 18 is a multiple of 3 and 6 so 18 is a multiple 3 and 6 are factors out of these two numbers 3 and 6 3 is prime so 3 is a prime factor of 18 so this is the, the factor which is prime is a prime factor of given number now next how can we find prime factors of a given number? Now here students, there are different methods to find prime factors. The first method is known as a factor tree method. And the second one is known as division method or also known as ladder method. Let us discuss both the methods one by one. I will start with a factor tree method. Now in a factor tree method, now let's take an example, 60 is a given number. I want to find the prime factors of 60 using factor tree method. Now step number one in factor tree method is take any two factors of 60. Remember one is not allowed. Other than one, you take any two factors of 60. Here I am going to take, let's take three and 3 into 20 is 60 and you will observe that 3 cannot be divided further and 3 is a prime number so I cannot write 3 as product of two numbers except 1 1 is not allowed I told you earlier also now here 20 can be written as now write 20 as product of two numbers 1 is not allowed I will write 20 as 2 multiplied by 10. I cannot further disintegrate 2. 2 cannot be further disintegrated. So I will come to the next number which is 10. Yes, 10 can be written as product of two numbers 2 multiplied by 
5. Now you will observe that the end of the branches, these are the numbers which I will get and these numbers cannot be further disintegrated because these are prime numbers. So the prime factors of 16 I can write as equals to 3 from here multiplied by 2, 2 will come from here and multiplied by 2 this one and the last one is 5. So this is the prime factorization of a given number 16 and it's always better if I write the prime factors in increasing or ascending order. The smallest one is 2 so I will write it as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. So this is the prime factorization of number 16 and this method is known as factor tree method because you observe the pattern is like a tree and the branches we obtain and the branch will end when we get a prime number which cannot be further disintegrated. Now I am going to start with the second method which is known as division method. Again let's take the same example. 60 is a number. I want to find the prime factors of 60 using division method or also known as ladder method. I will explain the reason later. Step number one is take the smallest prime number which is 2 and we will see whether 6 is divisible by 2 or not. Yes, since 6 is even number so it will be divisible by 2. So what I am going to do is I will divide 60 by 2 and what will be the quotient? Quotient will be 30. Now 30 again I will check whether 30 is divisible by 2 or not. Yes, 30 is again an even number. So 30 can be divided, completely divided by 2 and I will obtain 15. Now here 15 is not an even number. It is not divisible by 2. After 2, the next prime number is 3. I will check whether 15 is divisible by 3 or not. I hope you remember the divisibility rules. What is 5 plus 1? 5 plus 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. And 5 plus 1 is 6, which is divisible by 3. Therefore, 15 will also be divisible by 3. I will divide 15 by 3. I will get 5. And here, 5 is a prime number. So, 5 is divisible by only 5. This is what I will obtain and here on the left hand side I have obtained all prime factors of 60 and hence 60 can be written as product of these prime factors which are 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. So, these were the two methods to find the prime factors of a given number. Why I started with prime factors reason is because prime factors are going to be very helpful to us in order to find HCF and LCM of a given number. Our next topic is going to be HCF of the given numbers. Till then, thank you and have a good day.